When Daniel wrote this chapter, he was prophesying what would come. Reading it now, we have the unique perspective of time and recorded history. Verse 1 through 35 has already happened. It's documented well in history. You may recognize these stories as those of Xerxes, Antiochus II, III, and IV, Alexander the Great, and more. The battle locations, the marriages, the persecutions, the defeats. Daniel pins them with complete accuracy before they even occurred. But in verse 36, things get even more interesting. Daniel tells of the future actions of Antiochus Epiphanes. And while these are prophetically and historically accurate, Jesus, Paul, and John pointed to these events to tell of the abomination of desolation that will happen during the tribulation period. So he prophesied it before it happened. It happened. And Jesus used these events to explain that history would repeat itself in a much bigger way in the end times. While this may seem scary, there are many reasons for us to be encouraged. Throughout this chapter, one thing is clear. God is in control. The phrase that repeats itself in Daniel 11 is, at the appointed time. Today, we can take comfort knowing that tribulation and persecution has an appointed end date. The reign of the wicked has an appointed end date. In other words, our enemy is on a leash, our persecution has a purpose, and our God is in control. Listen to verse 36. The king will do as he pleases, exalting himself and claiming to be greater than every god, even blaspheming the god of gods. He will succeed, but only until the time of wrath is completed. For what has been determined will surely take place.